to day four now, and we're going through this book, Unwrapping the Greatest Gift by Anne Boss Camp. So let's get into it. And this one's called God's Tears. And it's based on Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 to 8. Last week, or not last week, yesterday, we looked at how God made the whole world and he loved it very much. But today the story changes a bit. God looked at all of the people that he had made that were turning away from him and his bruised heart swelled with sadness. His heart was filled with pain is how God felt when he looked around and saw everyone sinning and everyone hurting. God's tears fell like a flood. His heart hurts not just with a few tears, but with enough tears to flood the whole earth. God's love for you made him weep over all our sadness and sin. His heart filled with ache and spilled like a flood. And God offered everyone a gift, a rescue, a massive wooden ark. An ark, much like a cradle of water. And he whispered, come to the ark. God sees our tears now and the hurt flooding our world right now. And he offers everyone the greatest gift. A rescue, a wooden cradle, a wooden cross. And he whispers, come to Jesus. Noah and his family were saved by the ark, but you and your whole family can be saved by Jesus alone. Some horrible, awful, miserable, very bad days may have you looking around and say, if there's a God who really cares, he'd look at our world and his heart would break. And God looks to Jesus who went to the cross, that real tree, and says, look, my heart did break. So when those floods of bad things happen, if you lean towards Jesus, if you incline towards him, if you rest in Jesus, you get the gift of Jesus, like an ark of love holding you, carrying you, raising you gently up through any flood or sadness that fills the world. And some thoughts you might want to discuss is, have you ever felt God holding you up in a flood? And share how you felt. And an activity as a family, as a family, identify another family you think might be feeling like they are experiencing a flood. A time when everything seems to be going wrong. What gifts can you share with this family? Make sure to include a note reminding them that Jesus can carry them through their storm. Right, that's it for day four. Tomorrow, day five.